Okay, so this is what my mind map looks like in Reflect after using the tool for some eight or so months. You can see here that each of these colored nodes is a note, whether it's a company or a person or a daily note, and they are connected to all the other notes that are associated with each other through a bi-directional backlink. And if I go down here, you can kind of see an example of how this works here. So this is my recipe list note. And these are all the recipes that I have connected to it, all coming out of that node. That's kind of a simple one because it, they're really only connected one way. But if you're just starting out with this kind of model of network note taking, your map will be blank. It's not going to be filled with all of this. So let's go over how to get started with it, starting with this blank note. So. I guess it's not totally blank because I've created a, I left a couple notes in here, but this graph is mostly blank. It's only got two notes here. It's got reflect the company note and Alex McCaw, the person note. And if we go into Alex's note here, we can see that he already has this connection set up to reflect and reflect also has this connected to Alex McCaw here back. We'll ignore the tags and whatnot for now. So if we go to the map, then we can see that these two notes we have, have that connected line associated between them. And there's this third note here that is our daily note. And that one's not connected to anything because we haven't written anything in it yet. But let's try creating a new one. We'll create a backlink that says to do. And maybe for that, I will say send over I'll just make something generic proposal to Alex McCaw. So now we have done a couple of things. We've added a note that's called to do. We've linked it from the daily note page. And we've also linked to Alex McCaw's note from this daily note page. So we should now have a couple connections. And indeed here, you can see how they are all connected. We've got reflect that is connected to Alex McCaw. We've got Alex McCaw that's backlinked in our daily note. And we've got the to-do list that is also backlinked in the daily note. Now, if I suddenly backlink, let's go actually go back here and try this. Let's add another one in. We'll say we'll send over the proposal to Alex for reflect. So now we've added a third backlinked note. If we go here, we can now see how this is connected. So you can see how this example from just one early note, how quickly this can grow and spread into an entire web. Because each day will go on, we'll have new daily notes created. As I take notes each day, I will create new links for them, for these new companies, for additional people, for different project lists I have. And over time, this will just grow into a large mind map. Now, what should you be backlinking? Going back to the daily notes page here, this is the easiest way to think about it. Go through your day, keep your to-do lists, your daily logs, your reflections, and just backlink all people, places, things, projects, everything like that. A general rule of thumb is that if it begins with a capital letter, then it deserves a backlink. Now I'm going to go back over to my more complex map because there's a couple of features that are worth noting here. So if I go into this from the beginning, you're going to see all of these kind of oscillating notes that almost look like satellites, like they're orbiting around my plant here. So there's a couple filters here. What, what these are, just to explain them, these are all unlinked notes. So they're still going to appear in my map, but they're not going to be linked to anything. And if I want to, I can apply some filters. I can uh, decide not to show the unlinked one. I can decide uh, to remove the blank ones. and then suddenly it starts appearing a little smaller, a little cleaner, a little bit easier to work with. If I wanted to really clean it up, I could take all of the daily notes out and just start seeing the different project nodes that I'm working off of and whatnot. So you can kind of mess around, see how it's most useful to you, but it will really depend on your individual workflow. But if you just keep going along, backlinking all, again, people, places, things, projects, anything that's an entity, that starts with a capital letter, you'll be pretty good to go in creating your mind map.